Could you state your name for the record? Mallory Katz. Jason Williams. Mr. Williams, I think you uh, stormed out of my courtroom last night, last time. Is that correct? Upset? Frustrated? Okay. You, you sit, you, you, on one, there's one seat for one, one for the other. Okay. Today was the date uh, that was set uh, to proceed with the hearing for non-payment of rent. I vaguely remember there being a concern about the condition of the property. Is that what it was? The foreclosure. Uh-oh, a foreclosure. No property taxes. Okay. Uh, but this is for non-payment of rent and your... Uh, I made payments. I have proof that I made payments up until we received the foreclosure. Okay. So you so, made payment up until yep, you found the property was in foreclosure. Correct. Is your... Correct, Your Honor. Is your... And when was that, ma'am? Um, we received the paperwork in almost the second week of August. And we made our last... I made my last payment in September of 2023. And it was $220 because I was struggling at the time and I had to basically choose between utilities and stuff like that. So I had lost my job. And so you're saying that you made all of your rent payments on time up until you got that notice? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Yes, and what is it that you brought with you that you... Um, we have the foreclosure paper and also there's supposed to be a court date due tomorrow for... Uh, $2,166.73 for the foreclosure. For taxes is what you're saying? Property taxes, correct. Okay, what's the red form? The red form was the first date that they showed me that the foreclosure, I had a guy come walking on my door and knocking on my door and giving me this paper, okay. asking me if I was the owner. I said, no, I'm the renter. He said, well, the owner basically has property taxes. Do you know about it? I said, no, I don't. I contacted Garno. All he told me was it will be paid. He never said when. He never said what. So I was like, this is crazy. Okay. They went back when again? This um, paper was given to me, I believe, in the second week of August. So that was August. We're now in February. You not <clears throat> paid any rent. No, I did not. And the property's not been foreclosed on. No. So you've been living for free. Since August. I've been paying utilities. Yes. You've been living for free since yes. August. Yes. And, of this you're, and you believe that he could pay the taxes without you paying your rent. Well, what I said was, how come I was never notified about this? Notified about what? The foreclosure. Well, you were. That's how you got that. Yeah. And I didn't want to pay it because if I'm going to pay rent, is my house going to get you don't, You're not responsible for paying that. I know, That's the landlord. I know, but is the house going to get foreclosed? Possibly, but that I know, the but foreclosure is outside. I know, of, I whoa, 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 You know what whoa, whoa, whoa means? Yes. That means you're talking over me. Okay, I'm sorry, Your Honor. Okay, so foreclosures, when you don't own the property, you can't necessarily control when there's a lien that that, that, that could be foreclosed on. Um, if there's a foreclosure and they take your rent and they no longer own the property, then, then you may have a cause of action against them because they took some money from you when they weren't the lawful owners. But to best of the knowledge that we have and the information that you're providing me is that as of today, they're still the lawful owners of this property unless you have something that shows me that they're not. Correct. But this is for tomorrow, their court date in Mason for the foreclosure. So I said, is it going to get paid? Because I have to save money now to move Thankfully, it's tax time, so I can, you know, find a new house. You save money. Save money? You haven't paid rent since August. Did you put your money, your rent aside? I had to pay utilities. I have four children. I have to you got to pay utilities? What's that got to do with your rent? I lost my job. I was trying. I, to that's unfortunate. <laughs> but what do, do none of us get to live for free just because we lost our job or that we have to pay utilities? You still, it's still a responsibility that you both have if you live in a property. Yeah. And you don't get to say, oh, well, this property may get foreclosed on six months from now. So let me hold my rent. And then now you come to me six months later and, oh, I got to say, well, you should have, you had ample opportunity to say because whereas most people were paying rent or and or mortgage since August, you were not. Yes. So you, 
the whole saving thing, that goes out the window. All you can show me right now is that they are no longer the lawful owners and or that there's a condition with the property that essentially interfered with your quiet enjoyment or your ability to live there safely because it was not inhabitable. That's what you're to show me. If, they, if it's not foreclosed on yet, it could be uh, saved if you had paid your rent. He could go and pay that $2,000, you think, you know? You think? I don't know because it's a foreclosure for a property that isn't mine. I don't own it. That's why I text Garno and I said, is it going to get paid? And he said, yes. And I said, when? And he never wrote me back. So that's why I was like, okay, I'm left in the dark here. Like he never gave me no answer that I was looking for. So I stopped contacting him. Okay. If you were concerned though, also that it was going to get foreclosed, then why didn't you vacate the property and find a new place? Because I said I lost my job and I've been looking for one, but I have one now. Okay. So I've been saving money. Okay. And now that we have money saved, we can move at the end of this month. I can pay off whatever. Needs okay. To so be maybe paid in the maybe you and Mr. Brown should talk privately about that. I've, Agree because I have not got to talk to him about this at all. Do you have a device you can get on Zoom? No, I don't have a working phone. We'll get you on the court device because maybe you all can work something out uh, in lieu of going this route because if the property was foreclosed on already and they're accepting or, or expecting you to pay them rent, then I can understand your, your position. Mm -hmm. But to say that the pro property is going to be foreclosed in the future, if I have rental property, mm -hmm. investment property, and there's renters in there, my expectation is that they're going to pay me and I can use that to pay the taxes and the mortgage and or whatever liens are on there. If I don't get that money, how am I supposed to pay the bills? At the time, I was thinking single mom have to pay utilities. I lost my job. Do we want to be homeless or do we want not to have electricity no so, you made a in, in, the, mean, in the circumstances you were in that you made a smart decision let me tell you something here i was raised, was I was raised by a single mom too and she always said if you had hard times you pay you make sure you keep the lights on but she also said you pay the rent first you keep a roof over your i head. was up you until keep, i got my foreclosure you keep a roof paper. over your head first because you don't want to be out there in the street and and you don't live there alone you live there too he's there on and off but he's, he, he but, works a lot, so. You well, know. I'm asking him why are you you as you as mouthpiece. This mouth works sometimes. <laughs> this mouth works. You live there too, sir. Yeah, I'll be there. Yeah, it's just not your only responsibility. That's yeah. why he. That's why but his name is listed on here. It was our agreement to not pay until we figured out what was going on with the foreclosure. Honestly. I that I can recognize that, but typically when you do those things, you're supposed to make what's called a good faith decision. That means you escrow your rent i did and i contacted dhs and i got denied i don't know why i do have denial papers from dhs no good faith means you escrow your rent that's oh i know they, that's I what know, you were supposed was, to do i know but i was trying to ask for help at the time is what i was saying through dhs and i'm thinking that i lost my job to try to get some assistance yes and you don't have anything pending right now with dhs do you no okay uh uh, I was gonna say, what's that? That's it. no worries. We'll get you to private meeting room. You can talk to uh, Mr. Brown and see if you all can come to a resolution short of me uh, having to continue with this hearing. Okay. Thank you so much. You're Honor. welcome. Okay, still on the record. In the matter of uh, Michaela Rami versus Katz and Williams, Mr. Brown, did you all uh, come to a resolution at all? Uh, yes, Your Honor. We've agreed to dismiss this case with the condition that the defendants are to pay $5,020.39 in rent, $260.93 in court costs for a total of $5,281.32 on or before the end of the month, which is February the 29th. And they are also waiting for their tax refund, and they have our telephone number to keep us informed of when that when they anticipate that those funds will be received. Thank you. Okay, so that's how you want to resolve it with a conditional dismissal. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so the case will be dismissed today upon the condition that you agree to pay the past due rent in the, in the amount of five thousand twenty dollars and thirty nine cents. That's for rent due and owing for February 29th, correct, Mr. Brown? That's correct. 
Okay, plus court costs, two sixteen ninety three for total, $5,281.32. Okay, and that you are, have some, or expecting your uh, tax refund to come in around that time. Is that correct? Correct. Uh -huh. Okay. You have the right to be represented by an attorney. Uh, and you've appeared without counsel today. Are you waiving your right to counsel? Yes. You also have the right to proceed uh, to a trial. You could demand a jury trial in this matter. Uh, you've not demanded one so far. Are you waiving your right to jury trial to have this conditional dismissal entered? Yes, sir. Okay, partial performance won't satisfy. So that means you have to perform in full meeting. You're paying the full amount that he just stated on the record right. uh, and that you're doing it by February 29th or vacating by February 29th. You understand that? Yes, sir. You have three business days from today to once you leave here. Uh, you realize you misunderstood your rights. You can return to the court, request to have this agreement set aside. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to ask you all the same questions because you're named here. She can't answer for you. Do you have to understand the agreement that you're going to enter into a conditional dismissal? Okay. And that you agree to pay the past due rent amount $5,020.39 plus court costs to $1,693 for a total $5,281.32. And that you all will pay that or vacate by the 29th of this month. Okay. And you're waiving your right to counsel? You have the right also to demand a jury. Are you waiving your right to jury? You have three business days from today to return to the court. If you leave here and realize you misunderstood the rights you waive, you return to the court, you file what's called a motion to set aside judgment and request to have this set for hearing, okay? Lastly, are you going to give Mr. Brown permission to sign the conditional dismissal? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Any questions? No, Your Honor. Okay. Any additional matters? You're muted. Nothing. Thank you. Okay, you're all set. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good day. Thank, Thank you. you.